there is a high voltage conductor, the cylindrical high voltage conductor, and the grounded plate. This setup is installed in the air, so the air permittivity is 1, the high voltage conductor potential is 10 kV. Well, our task is to find the electric field's trace distribution. You know, in this case the electric field's distribution is not uniform and the maximum electric field stress appears here on the tip of the high voltage conductor. And in this example we will show you that the value of the electric field stress depends on the conductor diameter. So I will start quick field and create the new problem. This would be the electrostatic problem. I will call it needle to plane. This is the name of the project and this is the location folder. Next I should specify the problem type. As I said this would be electrostatic problem and the model class is axisymmetric. Well, the length units are millimeters. Now let me draw the, the needle. And the tip is rounded. So this is the needle. Next I should draw the grounded plate. which is located some 5 millimeters to the right from the needle. I should choose the straight line. So you see this is the axisymmetric model. The horizontal axis is the axis of the rotation, so this part represents the cylindrical needle and this part represents the grounded disc plate. I made the plate large so the edge will not affect the electric field distribution. And I will close this boundary. So next step is to assign physical to send labels to each object. Well, this will be the air. On the right is the grounded plate with zero electric potential. And this is the high voltage conductor. You see, I do not assign labels to the conductor itself, I assign label only to the conductor surface because there is no electric field inside the conductor. Now the geometry model is ready and we should assign physical properties to each label. Now for the air, I double click the label in the tree and in the dialog I specify the electric permittivity of the air. For the grounded plate I specify the zero electric potential. And the, for the high voltage conductor I specify the electric potential of 10 kilovolts.
Now we can build the point in Mint Mesh, save all problem files and run the simulation. And here you can see the electric field distribution. I can adjust the field picture and switch off the lines of potential and switch on the color map of the strand. Indeed, you can see that the electric field stress distribution is not uniform. So to reduce the electric field stress, we can make the needle, we may increase the diameter of the needle and make this shape more smooth. And change the diameter the needle. Now again if I run the simulation and switch on the color map of the electric field strand, you will see that the electric field strand now is only 5 kilovolts per millimeter. It was 11.7. So indeed if you change the diameter of the needle you can reduce the electric field strain. My task is to reduce the electric field strain to the value of the 3 kV per millimeter. Quick field features the label mover tool, which is good for parametric analysis. Here it is. In label mover tool you should choose the base problem. Here's the base problem. Needle to plane. Then you can choose the values to measure. I would like to measure the electric field strength at this point. So to allow the label mover to refer to this point I need to assign label to this point. So I select this point, open the properties and assign some label, the tip. There is no physical mink in this label, so I do not assign any properties here. I just open the properties window and close it. You see the label is marked with zero. It is empty label. So I add the values for the tip I will calculate the electric field strength. Now I can perform some steps, some modification of the geometry model. What these modifications are. I would like to move this point to the top and to the left to to make this needle diameter larger and to modify the tip of the needle and I will move this point to the top to preserve the form of the needle so I need to again to assign labels to two points. This will be the point P1. This will be the point P2. Again, there is no physical meanings for these points. These points are used only for the reference to the geometric objects. So in label mark for in the steps section. I will record the steps. P1 will be moved up by 1 mm. And P2 will be moved up and left by 1 mm.
at the end it will be the sub step so together it will be the combined step when the needle will be modified from this variant to this variant and I would like to repeat this step say five times so I will measure the electric field strength for the jeep of five different needles now everything is ready to run the analysis I press get result button you see how the geometry model is modified each model is then simulated and the electric field stress at the tip is calculated now let's take a look at the result this is the electric field stress for the tip for different diameter of the needle and you can see the result here on the plot